welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. And welcome back to another Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Um, well, in this video tonight, we're going to carry on um, with our video that we did on Archibald Linux or Arch Linux. And um, that was requested by somebody that watches this channel called um, the Young Wolf 077. Um, so we did a 45 minute video uh, following my recipe, uh, Hancock's recipe, Andy Hancock's recipe on uh, how I install uh, Arch Linux um, on VMware Workstation 17.6.2, but could be VirtualBox, it could be Hyper-V, uh, it could be VMware vSphere hypervisor it works on them all um, and it's a recipe that has served me well for many years and i know that you can google arch linux installations on the internet and you'll probably get 1001 different versions um, of how you install um, that video did go on a bit um it's a lot of steps i think it was about 30 to 35 steps and as i said that if you actually repeat those steps in that order i'm sure that you will find that you will be able to install uh, arch linux without any difficulties as well um, if you get into trouble uh, then please drop me a note in the description and uh, we'll see whether or not that we can um, fix that problem for you in the description or we can take it to experts exchange uh, or we can change, take it to um, uh, the community channels uh, on, on YouTube. Anyway, so in this video, because as I said, the other video was get to about 45 minutes. And I did sort of kind of say at the end of that version that people would probably turn around and say, right, yes, now I've installed Arch Linux, but I've got this bloody horrible command line console bash shell thing. It's horrible. Um, I'd like a GUI, please. Um, so what we're going to do in this uh, version, in this video, not this version, um, I'm going to show you how we actually install um, a GUI um, on our Linux or Arch Linux VM. Without further ado, let's get stuck into this. So I'm going to connect back to my VMware Workstation 17.6.2 Windows 11 PC and um and it would just so happen that we already have the arch linux uh virtual machine running and i already have a putty session connected to it now this is quite interesting because i have read and i'm a little bit puzzled um that there are lots of posts about using 3d accelerated uh graphics um if we basically go to the options and the settings and not that i'll be able to change them because the vm is currently running but if i actually go to the if i actually basically go to the display can you actually basically see that there's a tick box well there's not a tick box in it but there's a an option that says accelerate 3d graphics and you can put a tick box in it um just let me explain for one moment that there are a lot of people and there's a lot of rumors going around that people think with vmware which says 17.6.2 that you can pass through the graphics card of the host into the virtual machine you can forget it um, it's not possible um, i think there are some people out there that want to try running games in virtual machines i have no idea why but you cannot pass the host gpu into the virtual machine and ticking that box there for 3d graphics just does it in software um in memory um you know it doesn't go off like you know i think in this particular windows 11 machine here you know that well i can hang on i'll show you um let's just click cancel there um minimize that uh, i think if we look at the devices um in this particular virtual machine i go to i go to device manager and we have a little look at the the gpu display adapters is it there yeah here we go there's, there's an nvidia geforce rtx 3090 um in the, and there's also an intel uhd graphics 770 as well um so you know there are two gpus in this machine an rtx 3090 and a uhd graphics 770 there is no way at all that you can pass those through to our virtual machine so stop asking it can't be done 
that's it. You know, if you want to pass through a GPU into a guest operating system, then you really need to look at VMware vSphere ESXi hypervisor. It can do it. Um, or uh, Proxmox, it can do it. Um, or one of the other Linux uh, virtual machine um, hypervisors that can do it as well. But you cannot pass a GPU from the host to VMware Workstation and ticking that box there uh, saying, you know, enable uh, 3D graphics isn't going to do it for you. Um, so, you know, stop wasting your time. Um, because I have seen, and I'll, I'll do that. This is why I, um, I did this here. Um, I did an LSPCI uh, space uh, pipe grep dash I VGA. Uh, and it actually basically comes up and says VMware SVGA2 adapter. And I've read on some forums that says if you do that and you get the VMware SVGA2 adapter, then you've got 3D graphics enabled. Um, well, I haven't got the 3D graphics tick box ticked and it still comes up with that. So that's just an, a note that the performance in a virtual machine of the graphics, really, your mileage is going to vary uh, on how much memory you've got in the host and obviously the CPU that you've got in the host as well. So I just wanted to, to mention that because sometimes um, GNOME, uh, which is the, um, the interface that we're going to install on Arch here, uh, they don't work very well um, in virtual machines. Anyway, so the first thing we need to do is we need to check that we've actually basically got all the packages are updated. So by doing by, so we use sudo again, followed by Pac-Man. It does remind me of that little yellow map, yellow video game in the uh, in the eighties. So sudo space Pac-Man dash uppercase S Y U, and Basically, it says cores up to date, extra is up to date. There is nothing to do. So we're fully updated. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use the package manager, uh, sudo pacman dash uppercase s xorg, uh, which is the x system, followed by xorg dash server, followed by enter. And I'm just going to say install the lot number one default. And I'm going to say yes. And it's telling me it's going to 117 meg download. 407 meg install size so we'll basically we'll just let that install very quickly and then the next thing we're going to do after that we're going to install gnome uh now it's one um gui interface that you can use there are quite a lot uh wayland is one gnome is one sway is another there are quite a few so i'm going to install gnome so again i'm going to basically just sudo space pacman dash uppercase s gnome uh, again, I'm just going to hit enter, followed by one, and followed by one again, and that's going to say yes. So that's quite a big package because, of course, it's got all the applications with it as well. Um, so there's a total of 455 uh, packages that have got to be downloaded, downloaded and installed. So while that's um, doing that, I'm just going to have my soft drink of choice. Uh, again, don't forget to subscribe um, if you like this video and thumbs up. And if you don't like it, don't like it, uh, then thumbs down. Uh, so one of the other things that we've got to do um, as well, um, uh, installing the X system, uh, installing GNOME, uh, we've also got to install a display manager, GDM. So once this is completed, we're going to install um, a display manager. I'm just going to minimize that. Um, what we will see if everything goes well uh, in a minute um, is that um, we will actually start to see the display manager and GNOME start up here on our virtual machine. Uh, so I'm just going to go back. Uh, that's obviously basically just uh, building uh, a few repositories. Um, few packages and uh, say and on that note you know if there is a video out there that you want me to do in Hancock's VMware half hour then uh, drop me a note in the description and uh, we'll see whether or not that we can we can get around to doing that one as well um my uh, my new t-shirts arrived and I don't know what I've done with them my new t-shirts arrived from experts exchange um today okay 
Um, we'll come back to that in a minute about experts exchange. Uh, so again, I'm going to now install the display manager. So I'm just going to drop sudo space pacman dash uppercase s ddm uh, proceed with installation. And this is when we're likely probably maybe to see a change uh, here. Not yet. Um, so I'm just going to basically run a command that just checks to see that it has been installed correctly. Uh, so display manager and login screen support has been. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just. Now uh, run a sudo space system CTL space enable dash dash now GDM dash service. And hopefully we might see something change. There we go. So you can see there now um, that the GNOME interface has started. Um, that looks familiar-ish um, to Ubuntu's desktop. Um, but I've got a few more things to do. Um, I'm just going to look at the status here. Now, we'll probably actually basically get some error messages here because it's actually basically going to start. Okay, starting, started and then it's basically telling us we've got a through process is dead but it is active and running um so finally what i'm going to do now i'm going to install some packages so i'm going to install so sudo space pacman dash uppercase s firefox vlc and leafpad um again i'm just going to hit the default i'm just going to hit one uh proceed with the installation yes um just so that we've actually basically got some applications that we can run and I can demonstrate are all working. But one of the things I'm going to do, I'm going to do a sudo reboot here. Um, we can clearly see here that we've got a GUI running now. Um, but what I want to do is I want to check that all that is working correctly after I've done a reboot. So I'm going to close that big X down. I'm going to go back to our, and I'm going to, we're waiting for it to boot now. If we go full screen, and if I now log in as that, hopefully we should get a desktop. And yeah, it says, do you want to take the tour? No, I don't want to take the tour. Uh, but if I go and now run Firefox, then we've got a lovely GUI and I can say skip this step, skip this step, skip this step, start browsing and uh, maybe we'll go to andysworld.org.uk. There we go, my website, uh, the home of Hancock's VMware half hour. So that's it, um, 13 minutes. So we didn't do too bad there. Um, certainly under uh, the uh, Hancock's firmware half hour. So that's how we install GNOME, um, our display interface, our GUI, if you like, um, and our um, desktop manager um, on Arch Linux 2025.02.1. So in all, about 60 minutes, um, if you include the last part that we did and this part. So again, um, thanks very much for uh, watching um, this video. If you've liked this video, then please thumbs up. If you don't like this video, then please thumbs down. But don't forget to subscribe. And um, you can uh, thank uh, the Young Wolf 077 um, for uh, this video. Uh, because he did actually basically ask um, on one of the um, the videos that we did, he responded, can you do one with Arch Linux or any distro based on Arch? Thanks. So here you go. Um, I hope, um, I'm just looking again. I'm hoping that, ooh, I'm hoping that the Young Wolf 077, I hope that this meets your requirements. Uh, so I'm looking for a thumbs up and uh, a comment. Uh, as to whether or not that this has worked for you anyway so once again uh, thanks very much for watching uh, Hancock's VMware Half Hour and thanks very much for joining me this evening uh, so once again come back soon for another episode of Hancock's VMware Half Hour um, whilst I think we're probably maybe going to be returning to VMware vCenter server I think 
Uh, there's been a few updates that have come out, um, so I want to go back and cover them. Um, and then, of course, we've got Synology NASes, and then we've got Raspberry Pis, and then we've got NVMEs, and uh, and then I've got a banana to eat, uh, which I'm going to do now because I'm hungry. Anyway, so once again, thanks so much for uh, watching, and uh, and good night, and uh, and goodbye. Thank you. Bye bye.